you voted to see Tyranitar fusions. First fusion of the day. I want to see a tiny little baby Tyranitar waddling around. You know what? I want to see a Larvitar. I, want to, I just want it to be Larvitar. It's not Larvitar, but it is god cute. Oh my goodness. This is arguably cuter than Larvitar. I think it's the eyes. I really love the blue egg though. Oh, it's adorable. Charged up Godzilla is already like a walking power plant. I want to see this fusion get Godzilla-fied. I want it to be the charged Godzilla. That's a lot cooler than what I was expecting. I really like the lightning looking effect and the glowing stomach, but the head is just bulbous. It looks like a freak. I'm going to give the sprite artists here a chance. If they workshop this and improve it for the next update, I'll come back and I'll review it again. For now, it needs some work. You know what would make my day? If these two Pokemon fuse and it's just Tyranitar on fire. He's not in pain or anything. He is just engulfed in flames. I was pretty close. I think the sprite artist did a really good job, but it is just so unimaginative. This is just a Mega Tyranitar that got hit with Flamethrower. That's all it is. I don't know why my brain is going this direction, but I want to see Tyranitar wearing like Steelix armor, like as a D&D &D character. That's actually tight. It's like a metal leviathan. That is level 99 helmet armor if I've ever seen it. He's built like Alphonse. Tyranitar's brother tried to fuse him with Mewtwo. And look what happened. Now his body's stuck inside this big worm thing. Let's see the reverse. Oh, is it going to be their Megas combined? It is their Megas combined. That is so hard. I love the crystals. The crystals are my favorite part of the Mega Steelix. And they use them really, really well here. Oh my god! It's the Crystal Meth Jesse, Pokemon! Pseudos being fused together have got to be some of the coolest results we've ever gotten. Watch this one be lame. Just because I said that. Just to spite me. Actually, not bad. I don't hate it. I wish they kept some of the red that was on Garchomp because I really enjoyed it. I liked his red-blue-yellow palette. But this is pretty good. This is like Garchomp's younger brother who's just a little bit unkempt. <laughs> He didn't get taken to the groomers quite as much as Garchomp did. Let's see the reverse. Pack it up. This is perfect. They did everything right. It wasn't overkill on either of the sprites. The color palette mixed so well. It looks like an official sprite. And even the name is cool. Tyranchomp. I would do anything for this fusion to just be Tyranitar with a stupid egg in its pouch. Put Togepi in there for all I care. I just want this monster to carry around a little baby. So much worse. So much worse. Who put this monstrosity in charge of an egg? It had to have stolen that egg, right? They have the same haircut. <laughs> also the haircut from Dwight from The Office. Let's see the reverse. Smash. Oh. Didn't mean to say that out loud. This is- this is awesome. I think that Blissey should get a regional that's actually badass and armored like this. I would have loved for them to rotate this- this fusion a little bit so I can see some cheek. So I can see the tail better. <clears throat> All right, moving on. You know, I'm glad someone suggested this fusion in my YouTube chat, by the way. Make sure to come check me out live. Tyranitar is in desperate need of some dental work. So hopefully Gengar's smile helps him. This fusion needs a lot more than just dental work. And now I need a psychiatrist. Its name is Genitar. That's one letter away from genital. I didn't realize until just now how many Pokemon would look so f stupid if they just had a beak. Tyranitar is one of them. I don't like the way he's looking at me. From neither his head nor his chest. He has the same disease Ludwig does. The chest thing. He's got Miltank's calves though. I have a question and no one's allowed to get mad at me when I ask it. Why is Dusclops just uh, the Michelin man? I will save my questions for another time. We have to talk about how cool this fusion is. I love the eyeball in the middle. I love the red accents. It looks like someone from My Hero Academia's quirk got activated. I don't know what it is. But it's something. Don't ask me why, but I'm trying to imagine each of these Pokemon driving a car, and it's just not happening. This Pokemon also could not drive, but it looks cool. It looks like it would devour a watermelon. Not in one bite or anything, just like viciously. This thing would go to town on some fruit. Which is weird because it definitely eats meat. <laughs> Do you think Magnezone was inspired by Robocop? I like to imagine it is. This was almost so cool if they didn't put a bulging bulbous eye coming out of the head this fusion would have been so cool 
There's already a giant eye in the stomach that looks great. We just did the Mr. Mime episode last week. Why don't you guys request these the week of? Actually, don't request it at all. I could have gone my whole life without seeing this, and I would have been a better person for it. But now I have brain rot. I don't like the idea that it's wearing white leggings and they're ripping at the thighs because it's so thick. And I probably shouldn't have said it out loud, but if I had to have that thought, now you do too. Who requested this? Mods, please ban them. What if they turned Tyranitar into a car? I won't elaborate. That is so much cooler than whatever bull I was talking about. This is tight. This looks like a Duraludon's Mega Evolution. <laughs> this looks like it could be a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Sea Slux, so well made. Even the tail is cool. This looks like it could be some sort of new age Toy Story villain. You know what I mean? Let's see the reverse. Way less cool. This looks like it could be a small enemy from TikTok Clock in Mario 64. It's cute, it's just not menacing like I wanted it to be. Are those Lego hands? What in the Ninjago is this? A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. I have a lot of things to say about Weepin' Bell, none of which I can say on stream or TikTok or Instagram or YouTube or wherever you're watching this. Subscribe, by the way. I bet she's popular at parties until they see the disgusting growths on her legs. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't have arms or fingers, so maybe she's not that popular at parties. Maybe she doesn't get invited to parties. That hit way too close to home, and now I'm sad. Why are these guys so angry? Who hurt Granbull? What's, what's got you so upset, Brother Bear? I like this, except the jaw is way too big. It looks like a bulldozer. Well, what is this? Have you guys ever seen the video of the cat who eats way too much food in one bite? <laughs> that is, this sprite is inspired by that. They're trying to pull the cat away, and he's just munching down, and he's like trying to get as much food as he can before they rip him away from his food forcibly. This fusion begs the question, what if Tyranitar was stinky? We're about to find out. Finally. Stinky Tyranitar. It's all we've ever wanted. Representation from the stinky community. This Tyranitar looks like it's decked out in the latest fashion from the Tears of the Kingdom Lady. What's her name? Cece? In Hateno Village? Hateno Village? Hateno Village? I don't know how to say it. I keep getting bullied for my pronunciations of Pokemon names, by the way. Stop bullying me online. Does anybody else feel like Psyduck deserves a regional that just has a huge brain? It's Megamind, but with a beak. You know what? Maybe we don't need any more Psyduck-related stuff in Pokemon. This is... this is the reason I drink. I know in my soul, this Psyduck has its mouth open because it wants someone to feed it some bread. <laughs> this thing is at a local park harassing a family of four for some spare bread. I firmly believe that Raichu is the most underappreciated Pokemon. Just overshadowed by Pikachu in every aspect. Is it a Thunderstone on its stomach? This is just Electric Godzilla. This is amazing. Do you think it would fight with a Butterfree Mothra? Butterfree Volcarona Mothra? Oh, it would go so hard. Yo, Godzilla producers, hit me up. For those of you who don't know, Electivire is my all-time favorite Pokemon. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments so I can tell you how wrong and dumb you are. It's so dope. It's a walking power plant. Look at him. You want to tell him he's ugly? He'll f*** you up. One punch, 10 million volts, you are dead. Hello? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm recording something right now. Yeah, I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers on TikTok and 2,000 followers on Instagram. Follow my stream. Yeah, I'll call you back later. Look how cool this is. Bye, Grandma. Oh, this is dope. Is he smoking a joint? Is he exploding of pink radiation? He hasn't cut his toenails in a while, but he looks cool. What if Bowser was made of chocolate and also didn't look anything like Bowser? Those are the questions that this fusion begs. Let's see the reverse. Yo! This might be the most impressive fusion sprite I've ever seen. Look at the gradient on the energy coming out of the chest piece. I don't know what to call it. Look at the gem in the center of its stomach. Okay, I don't know how to say this without sounding absolutely insane. I just hope some of you also understand what I'm trying to say. He has two right arms. The claw on the frontmost arm is just not correct. That's my only issue with this sprite. This is astounding. This is Mega Rayquaza with level 99 armor. <laughs> I know it will never happen, but I hope this fusion is just Tyranitar wearing a Mimikyu onesie. That would be the most adorable thing I've ever seen. You know, it's not bad. I like that the torso window thing 
is where Mimikyu sees out of. But this is pretty good. They could have used a button for the eye. They could have gotten a little bit more creative with this, I will admit. But maybe I'm just a sucker for Mimikyu. Should I do a Mimikyu episode? <gasps> Let me know in the comments if I should do a Mimikyu episode, please. Huh? I'm gonna get so much flack for this, but to this day, Groudon is my favorite box legendary. What, what are you gonna do? Find me? Hold on, I, I want just a moment to take this in. Way more spikes than necessary, first and foremost. God damn, is this cool. I don't know how to explain this, but I know this fusion is about his money. He's about that cash. He's a paper chaser, for real. You know, when you really think about it, Gen 5 is pretty bad when you don't got a bitch in your ear telling you that it's amazing. Looking at you, Zoomers. This is just Godzilla with a growth on its back. I like Gen 5, it's okay to be wrong. I wouldn't admit that I was wrong publicly, but you, you can admit that you're wrong, it's fine. Bro doesn't even have opposable thumbs. <laughs> Could never be me, look at my weird thumb. If they take Executor's body and just put three Tyranitar heads on it right now, I wouldn't be upset. Oh, he does have three heads though. It's like almost really cool. One meteor mash and he is done for, let me tell you. I need this fusion to have the doofiest face you've ever seen. Doofier than me taking my SATs. Cut that out, actually. We get there, we get there. Almost as doofy as me taking my SATs. Actually, this fusion looks more intelligent than me taking my SATs. <laughs> Let's see the reverse. Also, comment your SAT scores down below. If you haven't taken them yet, you're too young to be watching my channel. <coughs> my neighbors hate me, by the way. Can't tell why. There are still a ton of cool fusions that didn't make the cut, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see another video like this. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it because I upload every single Monday. Last week's video has some seriously insane fusions, so make sure to check those out if you missed them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.